Dearly beloved, I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is going to bless you, increase you and exalt you. There was a man called Abraham. Initially, he did not know the true God. He was a person who used to make and sell idols. That was his job. But he was very pious. But blessings were absent in his life. In other words, he lacked few blessings in his life. But he was a God-fearing man, so the Lord appeared to him one day and said, Abraham, will you listen to me and leave your native place and come to the land that I show you? Then I will bless you and increase you and make you a blessing to many. Immediately, Abraham obeyed the voice of God and surrendered himself. He left his own land and people and started to the land that the Lord was about to show him. And the Lord blessed him just as he had promised. Do you know what the Lord promised him? There are seven types of blessing mentioned in Genesis chapter 12, verse 2 and 3, seven types of blessing which denotes abundance. And one of the blessing is, I will bless you and make your name great and you shall be a blessing. The Lord says so. I will bless you, I will make your name great. You shall be a blessing to many around the world. So. Was this promise fulfilled really? Yes, it was fulfilled. Abraham had no children. The Lord gave him a child and multiplied his descendants. The Lord also gave him sheep, oxen and camels. In those days, these things were only the symbol of blessing. They never had bungalows, cars or other possession as today. The Lord blessed him with cattle, plenty of harvest, silver and gold. He blessed him to be very wealthy with so many servants and maids. Not only that, Jesus Christ was born in the lineage of Abraham. Today when the whole world is blessed by the name of Jesus Christ, this promise is being fulfilled. The Lord says to you today, My son, my daughter, I will bless you. I will make your name great. You shall be a blessing to many. I will bless you and make your name great in your workplace, school, college, neighborhood, business and in all your circumstances. People will talk about you in your city that you are a big shot over there. They would say he is number one in this business. Everyone knows about him and the Lord is going to make you like that. In your workplace, people will say about you that you are a genius in so many things. They will say whatever he touches will become successful. The Lord will make your name great. Let me tell you, I am a witness to that. I never knew anything. I am not so much educated. I was failing in all the subjects. I lived in a small village called Nalumavadi. I was about to die, but I was God-fearing. I trusted many gods and sought after them. But in my deathbed, the Lord Jesus came and touched me. He asked me to follow him. He said, I will bless you and make your name great. I will make you to be a blessing to many. I obeyed and surrendered myself to him. Today, look at this small village. There are so many grand blessings. You can see here, millions of people visit here and are receiving blessings. He has done according to what he promised, isn't it? I am a witness to that. Many have known about it and those who have received blessings are testifying about it. I was in my deathbed and was a useless person. But when I started following Jesus, he started using me to be a blessing to millions of people. The promise has been fulfilled, isn't it? He will do the same for you. Do not fear nor be troubled. Just obey and surrender yourself to him. Do what he says, that's enough. He will bless you, make your name great and make you a blessing to many as he has promised. And that doesn't mean all must get into full-time ministry like me. He will make you a blessing to many in your school, college or workplace or wherever you are. Many good things will happen through you. The Lord will reveal his glory through you. Say it with faith, Lord, the blessings of Abraham belongs to me. I believe that you would indeed bless me, make my name great and make me a blessing to many as you have promised. Just say this, it will definitely happen. From today, confess this promise and keep praying. You will see a miracle. He will make you a great testimony. Dear Father, we believe that. I pray for this son, daughter who is praying with me now. As you have promised, I will bless you and make your name great. You shall be a blessing to many. 
bless this son this daughter sir mother family children and make them a blessing to many i pray this prayer in the name of lord and savior jesus christ dear father amen amen